Did you know that you were born for a purpose, with a purpose, and on purpose? It does not matter how you got here. The fact that you are here meant that God intended for you to be here. And for a great many people, we are searching for destiny and purpose. In this episode of the Midweek Refill, we're going to talk about unlocking your destiny, understanding your purpose. I'm Bishop Littman, and you're watching the Midweek Refill. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the Midweek Refill. I'm your host, Bishop A. Reginald Littman, Senior Pastor of the New Mountaintop Church, and I'm excited to bring this teaching to you. As always, I do want to remind you that there is a free PDF handout that is available that includes all of the scriptures, the lesson, and personal discovery questions available right down in the description box of this video. So be sure to get it. It is absolutely free. You can also share it with those you love so that others might be blessed by this teaching. And again, welcome again to the Midweek Refill. If by chance this is your first time ever seeing my face, please leave a note in the comment to let us know where you are viewing from. Today we're diving into a powerful topic, unlocking your destiny, understanding your purpose. If you've ever wondered why you're here, what God's plan is for your life, or how you can make a meaningful impact, then this video is for you. Stick around because we're about to explore what the Bible says about your purpose and destiny and how you can start living it out today. So let's begin with one of my favorite Bible verses of all, and that's Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11 from the New International Version. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God's plan for your life is intentional. He designated and designed you with specific purpose in mind. But how do you discover that purpose? Well, I want to share with you a few principles from the scripture to help you to discover that purpose. And number one is to recognize that you have in fact been created for a purpose. First, let's talk about the fact that you were created for a purpose. Ephesians 2 and 10 tells us for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Listen, this is what that really means in a very practical level. You are not an accident. You're not an incident. You're not a mishap. You're not something that just happened. You are God's masterpiece, crafted for good works that he planned long before you were ever even born. And the first step in unlocking your destiny is understanding that you are designed with a purpose. But secondly, it is important to understand the necessity of discovering your gifts. So how do you discover your purpose? One key is to identify the gifts and talents that God has given you. That's right. God has given every single one of us gifts, skills, talents, and abilities. In fact, 1 Peter 4 and 10 says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Your gifts are clues to your purpose. Let me say that again. Your gifts are clues to your purpose. Ask yourself, 
What are you passionate about? What do you do well? You see, these gifts are not just for you. They are meant to be used to serve others. And here's our third principle. Trusting the Holy Spirit's guidance. Now, knowing your purpose is one thing, but walking in your purpose is a totally different thing. John 16, 13 says, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit is your guide, friends. He will lead you and give you wisdom and help you navigate the path to your destiny. And this is where faith comes in. As we're reminded in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse number 7, we live by faith, not by sight. We walk and we live and we move. And it's by faith in Jesus Christ through the enabling of the indwelling of his Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us to all truths. That includes the truth of understanding your gifts and why God put you on the earth. Fourthly, we have to overcome obstacles. But let's be real, friends. Pursuing your purpose is not always easy, is it? You will face obstacles in your life. Romans 8 and 28, which is a very familiar passage of scripture, encourages us with this powerful premise. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. That's you, friends. God loves you. And if you love God, every challenge in your life is designed to bring out good in your life. Even in challenges, God is working for your good. Every setback, every trial is merely an opportunity for God to shape you and move you closer to your destiny. And you've got to believe that. Fifthly, let's look at the power of vision and perseverance. And don't forget that there's a free PDF in the description box below to help you take a deeper dive further with this study. Next, Proverbs 29.18 says, where there is no revelation, King James says vision, people cast off restraints. King James says people perish. But it continues, but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. Vision is powerful, friends. Vision helps to keep you focused and moving forward. Coupled with perseverance, as James 1 and 4 says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Perseverance is the key to seeing your destiny fulfilled. I want to challenge you, don't give up. If you're looking for purpose, if you're waiting on God, if you'll be faithful, God will reveal to you all you need to see, know, and understand. And perhaps he already has, but sometimes we allow ourselves to get discouraged by the negativity of other people who are full of doubt. But here's one thing I've discovered. People who are negative are also envious. And when they don't know why they're here, you can't expect them to help you discover why you're here. I want to challenge you to trust God to give you the understanding you need and to give you the peace that you need to recognize and not only recognize, but have the faith and tenacity to walk into whatever God has called you to. Because Romans 8 and 28 reminds us, we know all things work together for good those to those who love God, those who are the call according to his purpose. And what's so powerful about that is then it simply means if you love God, good is going to come in your direction, even in the bad, because there's a calling on your life for God's purpose for your life. So 
We want to challenge you to download the PDF, take a much deeper dive than I have time to go into in this teaching this way. But there's so much more and God has something to say to you. So be sure to download the PDF. We love you so much. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to come right back here every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. for our live worship service from the New Mountaintop Church. And if you're anywhere in the metropolitan Atlanta area, you owe it to yourself to take a drive to the West Side because the West Side is the best side. <laughs> and we are the friendliest, trendiest church on the West Side of Atlanta. Come and join us. We're only 10 minutes from the other place, Mall in Douglasville, 30 minutes from downtown Atlanta. And we'd love to have you. Also, you can check out our broadcast uh, on the west side of town. It's 104.5. If you're anywhere at all, you can check us out on RadioCountry.org. And we're broadcasting live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on 104.5 in my city right here in Douglasville. Well, I love you so much. And until next time, you go with God.